with Flago Gaming and thanks for joining me for another episode of New Adventure. I don't know if you guys remember the last episode, I think we were maxing out, we were upgrading a few things here and there. I'm not sure what it was that we were upgrading, but I think it was part of the army camps and some of the barracks. So today we got so much loot. Today we got 550,000 gold. So what we're going to start out by doing is maxing out the golds, the, the, the walls, why did I say the golds? We're going to start by maxing out the walls. Then from there, that's when we're gonna start attacking. First, let me get my troops ready to train. Let me put, okay, I'm gonna gym that one. I'm gonna put another one. Another, I'm gonna put another army. Another army for training too. What? Why is it not letting me train? Let me see. Oh, okay. Okay, I get it now. Okay, now let's go quick training. Put some more to train. So first things first, we're gonna start about upgrading the walls, like I said. Let's get rid of some of this gold. Select the row. Select this row. Well, that's about it. I thought I could upgrade more, but let me see what I got. Let me collect the treasury. The loot card actually. Then collect the treasury. Let's see how much is that. Okay, we're back at 550,000 gold as well. Let's go ahead and start upgrading this, this row of walls as well. And I think from there. No, I think it's too much. Let me select this row. Okay, that row. Okay, so now we're sitting at 30,000 gold, 550 elixir. Let's start about upgrading something in the laboratory. Let's go ahead and start upgrading this lightning spell. We're down to 250,000 elixir. Collect. We can probably upgrade more walls. So let's go ahead and start upgrading the rest of the walls. So use most of the most of the gold here. That way when we attack, we get a lot of loot and use it to start upgrading some stuff. Like maybe Resources, maybe some defense with the gold. I think that's about it. We can upgrade. Now let me start out by using, I think with that elixir, we got way too much. I'm gonna start out by upgrading something. Let me see, what takes up so much elixir? That's a little five, seven thousand. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure, I'm assuming what's this level. Okay, it's gold. Okay, let's talk about upgrading one of the gold storages. Take up some of it. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and now let's begin our attack. Well, let me let me walk you through what we have done. So far, you know, this 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 series is called Clash of Clans Dream Adventure. It's a series where I start from level one, well level two town hall pretty much. And I'm gonna work my way up maxing it out from each town hall to town hall until we get to town hall 13. My plan is town hall 13, but I think I might do it to town hall maybe 10 for a while and then stop. To continue it because it's gonna take a while. We're gonna be real ready at Town Hall 5. It took us a few weeks, but you know, like I said, once you start getting the Town Hall to higher level, higher than 5, it's gonna start getting more expensive or anything. It's gonna take a lot longer. So I'm not gonna be able to do that episodes once a week, but you know, but the plan is at least to Town Hall 10. And then from there, we'll see what happens. So let me request some troops. I mean, we came a long way. It doesn't take that long to get Town Hall 5, just a few weeks attacking. Constantly, you know, always upgrading the resources first. That way, your resources are maxed out and you get a lot of loot every day when you checked in. Alright, guys, after time of searching for a, a gear to tell how to take, I finally managed to find one with a decent amount of gold that I need, available loot. So, I mean, I, you know, but now the main goal is getting the gold. The elixir is too full, I'm not gonna worry about it. So let's go ahead and begin our attack. I'm always, I'm always using the strategy, the barbarians and the archers. That's a good strategy to get loot and probably get a one star around there. So let's go ahead and by putting the barbarians with the builders hood at. Let's put them out with the army camps as well. Spread them over here. Okay, most of the loot is gonna be, most of the loot is gonna be in the gold mines. So that's what, that's what they're gonna worry about. There's the gold mines at the moment. So let's go ahead and do that. To spread out the archers as well. Maybe put some wall breakers so you can break in and get to the town hall as well. Let me spread the rest of my archers. So there you go. Now you got the archers and the barbarians doing a good amount of damage, taking most of the loot. Let me see. I think I'll be careful with the mortar. Let me just lightning spell and drop it on the mortar. Well, no, the mortar's already destroyed. I don't gotta worry about the mortar no more. So we should be able to get a decent amount of stars, decent amount of loot. Taking out the town hall, that'd be enough. 
that will give us most of the gold already. But we only got one archer. Let me see. Let me see. Lightning swords are effective on the town. Let me check. And no, it's shooter. So I'm gonna have to wait until my archers or barbarians manage to get in there and take out that town hall as well. But anyways, guys, you know, like I said, always use a strategy when it comes to the the, the armies. When you when you choose a specific army, always use the barbarians and the archers because those are gonna be the ones that are more effective and the cheapest way to go. So you can see, I didn't. Get, I got about twenty thousand gold. I was hoping to get everything, but you know, didn't work out that way. But we still managed to get a star, so I didn't lose trophies. I gained trophies, but the star bonus was there too, so I managed to get some gold. Let me go ahead and do the uh, well. The troops, I think they're ready, about ready to go. Now I'm gonna gym it, put more troops to train, and we should be ready for round two. All right, guys, we we find another good base. The loot is outside, so we should be we should be able to get that easy gold, the easy elixir. So let's go ahead and begin by spreading out the barbarians. Make sure there's no traps anywhere, no bombs or anything. Okay, so that worked out good. I'm gonna draw the lightning spell on the mortar. I'm gonna see if it destroys it. Maybe almost, not completely, but let me start spreading out the arches as well around this area, so you can take out all the loot and hopefully get work the way to the mortar. And hopefully take out the town hall as well. Let me drop the wall breakers. And let me drop the rest of the barbarians right behind it. Hopefully they can take out those walls. Because the walls just got weak. The walls got weak. So this should easily break into this. So that's where my barbarians are going right now. And this should be a... I'm going to take that long to destroy. Okay, now they're in. They're going to take out the town hall. And we're going to manage to get all the loot. We're going to manage to three-star this town hall as well. Am I missing anything? Only Okay, they got... We got loot in the clan castle as well. And I forgot about the builder's hut. See, that's one thing you always gotta remember about the builder's hut. But you know, we got so much time, so I don't gotta worry about it. But when it comes to other town halls, like higher level town halls, sometimes the builder's hut, destroying the last builder's hut can lead, you know, can be a three star or not. Because sometimes the time runs out, expires, and, and you don't get a three star because of what one builder's hut. That's pretty much it. But always remember to take out the builder's hut first if you see them in the corners. So right here, I got lucky, there was still so much time, and I still managed to get three stars, and I got 30 trophies. So I did two successful attacks. This is the one where I got most of the loot. Let me collect some something from the treasury. Let's start upgrading some more walls as well. So from here, we're probably going to upgrade what about... No, we might upgrade this whole row right here. Let me see. No, never mind. Most of it though. We got about three left, no, four left. Two more walls. Okay, we managed to upgrade those two walls as well. So we, so, so far guys, we're coming a long way on this new episode, this new playlist. You know, I'm, I'm really excited how we're doing this. Everything is coming, coming out smoothly. We're upgrading pretty quick. It doesn't take that, that much time. You know, just always is the money, the loot, and always look for the best time to attack. When they, cause you know, sometimes you get lucky, and sometimes they have the gold storages outside or the elixir storages outside. So that's the main thing. You can find, if you can find bases like that. You're gonna be upgrading pretty soon, and it won't take that long. Like with this episode, we're already halfway through maxing out the walls. So now I got a lot of elixir to spin. Let me see. I got two builders available. Let's finish out this episode by seeing what we can finish upgrading with the elixir. Okay, the army camps are maxed out, I think, if I'm not mistaken. There's one that's not maxed out, so let's go ahead and start by upgrading the, the army camp. And let's go ahead by start maxing out. I think my resources are going to be next. No, the gold storage is going to be next. So we got two upgrading, two gold storages upgrading, one army camp upgrading. So see, there you go, guys. Especially the star bonuses. That helps a lot with the loot. That's what helped me a lot get the loot when I attack when I get them stars so right now we can probably go ahead and do one more attack let me see gym it get one more attack in hopefully get a two star and that way we get that bonus so for the next episode we'll be fine we don't gotta worry about anything we have so much loot available but let me look for some let me look for a base that has a good amount of loot good good gold my focus is the gold at least 30,000 and up 
We found one that has 200,000, but that's elixir. I don't need elixir. This base is too low. This one has about a decent amount of gold. Let's go ahead and type this one. It has 135,000. And mostly the gold is outside as well. And the elixir in the gold mines or in the gold storages. And the town hall is outside as well. So let's go ahead and attack this base. That way we, we should be getting two stars. If I'm not mistaken. I'm hoping for it, but if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Let's put marches down here. Those are all the troops I have for now. Let's see if we get most of the gold and hopefully take out that town hall. So far we're getting that town hall and we're getting the gold, but... I think most of it is going to be in the town hall. Most of the gold is going to be in the town hall. It's about to get destroyed. Come on, the mortar did take out a lot of my troops though. But we're fine. We still get it. We still got, we at least got that one star. Hopefully to get that two star. It might not happen, but I'm hoping for it. So it didn't happen. You know, it's, a, I think it was a town hall seven or no, six, maybe seven. My, I needed more barbarians. You know, my army camp isn't, one of my army camps isn't maxed out either, so. Hopefully when I get that maxed out, I should have more archers and barbarians when, it, when I go and attack because I do need that extra troops. So let's go ahead and now, okay, we, we're done with our attacks. Let me just go ahead, train some troops. The archers and the barbarians until full capacity with the army camps can hold. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. But anyway, guys, also... If y'all want to join a clan, feel free to join this one. It's an Avengers clan. I got three of my accounts in here. Low levels can join. Anyone can join. I got another clan, but I think that one's already full. But whenever it gets open spots, I should be putting out the clan. Be putting out the clan names and everything, the clan tags. That way I can see it. But y'all inter really interested in joining this clan, just feel free to join. Look at the clan tag. And look at the name and you'll be fine the trophies requirements is only 400 600 town halls three at least but yeah guys i mean if y'all want to join feel free to join but anyway guys this is enough for this episode that's it for today and please guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope you enjoy my videos and i will see you guys next time